my pleasure to introduce to you none other than Mr. Sean D. Tucker. of the most hardcore, down and dirty, hard-charging power aerobatics known to man. Right now in the son of Edwin, starting with a seemingly out of control tumble known as the Lopchevac. Sean stops him with that nose pointed perfectly vertical. Right now shifting into reverse, sliding tail first at over 90 miles an hour. The nose comes down, the smoke is back on, and Sean brings it down to air show left. Into the vertical, a half roll in one direction, a full roll and a half in the opposite. At low air speed, pulling his way over the top, once established on the 45 degree downline, the high energy inside diving snap rolls. Stopping now and keeping it pointed at the ground, air speed indicator winding up. Pointing that nose straight into the vertical for the spiraling tower. It's two and a half outside snap rolls on the way up. Pushing over the top. The two and a half outside snap rolls on the way down. But watch as Sean chooses to remain inverted. Half roll to upright begins the hooey loop. This is an inside outside loop with a tumble at the top. The first half is inside or positive G's. Outside or negative G's. Over six negative G's trying to throw Sean out of the cockpit at the bottom end of that maneuver. Right now, hanging by the straps, Sean lets the nose fall through the horizon as he makes his way back to air show center. You've seen other performers do what's called a hammerhead turnaround. We'll watch closely now for Sean's original double hammerhead. Going into the vertical, watch for a full roll, followed by the shoulder roll. Now as he approaches zero, forward airspeed, watch for the application of hard, full, left rudder. As Sean completes not one, but two consecutive hammerhead rounds. On the downline and a pull back to level flight. Starting 20 feet above the ground into the vertical. This is called the flip stop. As Sean accelerates back to air show center. Watch for point rolls across the aerobatic box. As Sean is now trying to the nose up, end over end in the Oringo Tango Tumble. Sean is now going to take a very short break. Climb for some altitude, catch his breath, tighten up his seatbelts, and let those engine temperatures cool down. So while Sean stops, brings it back to level flight, and begins his climb, we're going to reach him in the cockpit of the Oracle Challenger. Sean D. Tucker, are you with us? The nose will come down. The airspeed will begin to build up. The smoke is going to come on. Once he sees 245 miles an hour, he's going to pitch it up, roll it inverted, right rudder, right forward stick. This is called the centrifuge. Stopping now, unrolling in the opposite direction, converting excess altitude back into airspeed. Sean makes his way down to air show right to show you for the second time his original double hammerhead. Using every bit of that available 400 horsepower to pull himself 1,600 feet above the ground. Right now, zero forward airspeed. Left runner goes all the way to four to bring it around once, all the way around twice. And now rolling straight at the ground and driving the air show center. Sean is going to show you his newest maneuver. It's down to 
an air show left. He is going to show you a maneuver which was used in 1972 to win for the United States the World Aerobatic Championship Trophy. It's called the Torch Roll, and no one in the world today does it better than Sean. Again, using that engine and that massive three-bladed composite propeller to pull himself 1,600 feet above the ground. Right now, zero forward airspeed. Torque of the engine takes over, continuing to roll to the left. Shifting into reverse, Sean brings his aircraft screaming towards the ground, tail first at over 100 miles an hour. Through his critical altitude, the throttle slams back, the nose falls down. The smoke is back on as he brings it back to air show center. that you see Sean flying is known as the Oracle Challenger. It's a one-of-a-kind aircraft that was custom-built specifically for Sean by our team over a period of approximately 16 months. It weighs in at 1,170 pounds and is powered by 400 horsepower, making it the most high-performance aerobatic biplane in the world today. Right now, hanging by the straps, the nose falls through the horizon. Sean accelerates back to air show center. Watch closely for the nose to pitch up suddenly. A three-quarter outside snap roll puts Sean into climbing. Knife edge.